Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video and today is Tuesday the 8th of May. So our members uh, get daily um, updates on signals for the fifth wave trade of an Elliott Wave uh, sequence, uh, which is the highest probability move in a trend and also stochastic trades, both long and short. So I've chosen short trades today, short fifth wave trades, and I'm going to go for a 60 minute time frame. So our members just click on what they want to download and then they click on the image and download the spreadsheet. Let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today for shorts. So again, I've chosen the 60 minute time frame today. It's quite volatile at the moment uh, and we had a a um, very strange session yesterday. So uh, we got a lot of short setting up here on the 60 minute, as you can see. So I've chosen Monster, MNST, on the 60 minute time frame um, for a potential short. So let's have a look at the chart and set it up. Okay, so first of all, this is the Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for Ninja Trader NT8. Now it is available for Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Multicharts as well. Uh, our membership service, the signals have some basic filters on there. So the first filter at the bottom here, as you can see, the stochastic has pulled back against the trend and crossed over in the overbought zone because we're going short. The 535 oscillator has just gone in inside now between the 90 and the 140 percent. So that's a good sign. Also, our uh, wave for pullback has found uh, resistance in the green high probability zone. So these probability zones are part of our indicator suite. Um, so overall, you can see our indicator suite. We've isolated the wave count back at the highs around about April the 18th here. Uh, and then um, the Elliott wave count has been automated and put in there by the software. So let's zoom in and look at how to set up this trade now. We've had this pullback against the main trend, remember? So now we need to look for an entry strategy, keeping it very simple. Let's zoom in a little bit more here. Okay, so remember the wave force pulled back into our green zone. So this is an 85% probability. If it finds resistance here and starts to move away, we're going to get a new wave five low into our automated target zone here, around about 51.20 in the middle of that blue uh, automated target zone there. So we're looking for a short. Uh, we need to go a couple of cents higher than the wave four for the stop loss initially. So we've got a 53.53 stop loss. Now, the entry needs to be outside of our six ball moving average high here, which is part of the indicator suite. So we're going to be way below that. But I've also taken into account the low of this candle, which uh, closed on Friday. So although we had a reasonably uh, bullish day yesterday, we did give off a little bit yesterday. And if this comes back down and breaks this support level, that's a good time to enter this short today. So 52.66 is the entry short for Monster on the 60 minute time frame. The targets around about 51.20 in the middle of there. So as you can see the risk to reward for this uh, potential short trade here is one to 1.7, 1.8 into the middle of that target. And so really good risk to reward, sensible entry, nice tight stop above that wave four. Now, if we open today and it doesn't take us into the trade but makes a new wave for high, we just need to allow that resistance to form uh, and look and adjust the entry strategy accordingly. So at this moment in time, we're looking good for the short on Monster. Uh, we have the entry at 52.66 short and the stop loss at 53.53 with a target around about 51.20 there. So really good looking trade. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.